Hi friends, how are you? Today we're going to talk about family. Can you say family? And when you talk about more than one family, you say families. So let's talk about families. Families are a group of people that care and love one another. And usually they live in the same house or maybe it's an apartment, maybe it's a condo. Families come in all different sizes. Some families have one child, some have 10 children. We say children when it's more than one child. Uh, some families have a mom -um or a me and pop-pop or a grandfather that lives with them in their house. So families come in all different sizes. What I want you to do for our Wednesday Zoom class, if you can, is get a picture of your family. It can be a picture from a long time ago. It can be a picture on your mom or dad's phone if you just want to hold that up. I have a picture of my family. This is when I was younger and it has my mom and dad and all my brothers and sisters. And I have three brothers and three sisters. So my family is really big. Remember, families come in all different sizes. So let's count how many kids are in my family. Ready? One, I'm gonna take mine out actually. So this is better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I have one dad, and I have one mom. Some families might only have a mom living in their house, and that's okay. Maybe their dad lives in a different house. Some families, there's no mom and dad, and the mom, mom and pop, pop takes care of the kids. On our next Zoom class, I want you to bring a family picture if you can, and you're gonna talk to us Tell us your siblings' names. You're gonna tell us if there's a mom in your house, if there's a dad, if there's a grandma or grandpa, maybe an aunt lives with you or a cousin. So right now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna draw a picture of my family. I'm gonna draw it. And I have my photograph right here that I'm gonna look at. So let's see, there's seven people in my family, so that means I'm gonna draw seven people. I'm gonna start with my mom. I'm gonna give her two eyes, a nose, and what does she need to eat? A mouth, and looking at my picture, my mom has curly black hair, so I'm gonna give her curly black hair. You might give your people, you can draw a stick person for my dad, I'm going to give him a rectangle, or you know what, I'll make it a square, a square for his chest, top half, and then rectangles for his legs, and I'm going to do rectangles for his arms. We can draw our families to look different. And I'm going to pause it, I'm going to draw my brothers and sisters, another word for that is siblings. So let me pause. Okay, friends, I finished my picture. See how I gave everyone two eyes? Oh, I forgot my dad's nose. Let me give him his nose. And you know what? My dad usually wears a hat, so I'm going to draw a hat on him. Miss D's not the best artist, but I'm trying my best. And then my little baby sister. I made her small because she's the smallest in the family. My big brother, see how I made him the tallest? Because he's the tallest. And if I look at my picture, I can see that he's higher than any everyone else. Now I'm going to write everybody's name. Um, m, m. Mom starts with uh, what letter makes the m sound? M. So I'm gonna do M O M for dad. D, d, d. What letter makes the d sound? 
like duck and dog. The D, I'm so I'm gonna make a D. And I'm gonna continue to write all my brothers and sisters' names. If you can't write the name, that's okay. You can ask your brother or sister if they know how to write their name. They can write their name on top of their picture or just ask them the first letter of their name. So this is my brother, Richard, which starts with the letter R. I have my R up there. Let me go get it. Remember our letter of the week, R? Well, my brother's name, Richard, starts with this letter. So I could put a picture of my brother on the letter R because his name starts with R. And I'm going to make an R. I'm going to do a straight line down, then a ramp, a rainbow, a ramp, and you're done. This is my little sister, Rita. Rita starts with an R, too. So I'm going to put an R above her name. Okay. So, friends, if you could draw a family picture of all the people that are in your family, whoever lives in your house. That would be great. And you're going to bring it to our Zoom class on Wednesday. And you're going to tell us everyone that's in your family and their name. If you want to color your clothes in on your family picture to make it extra awesome, I'm going to color my dress red. That's Miss D. That's me. That would be great if you wanted to color your picture. So if you can draw your family picture, and then if you can bring a photograph. And if you don't have a photograph at home, I know we're all staying home and we can't really go out to the stores. That's okay if you don't have a photograph of your family. I know a lot of us have our family picture at school in our room one. Okay. To end... I'm going to read the rainbow fish. It's called Rainbow Fish Tattletale. Let's look at the cover and predict. We're going to guess what we think the book's going to be about. If you said it's going to be about fish, touch your shoulder. That's what I predict. I predict this book is going to be about fish. Now, friends, some of you might have read The Rainbow Fish. That was the first book of the series. This is the same character, The Rainbow Fish, but it's a different story. Let's read. Rosie and Dinah were happy. They were going to work together on a science project. We will have the best project in class, said Dina. I know lots about growing algae. Everything went well, but Rosie and Dina didn't always agree, agree on how to work together. Just like in families, it's okay. Sometimes my brothers and sisters argue we don't agree on something, but then we make up. Knock, knock, joked Rosie. Who's there? asked Dina. See, answered Rosie. See who? See that? We are almost done, said Rosie. Dina didn't think that was funny. We are not almost done. We have not finished all the steps. We don't have to follow all the directions, said Rosie. I want to do it right. Just then, Miss Cuddle called, recess time. At the shipwreck playground, all the fish talked about their science project. How's your algae project going, Rainbow Fish asked. We would be finished if Rosie did not joke around so much, said Dina. Angel thought this was interesting news. After recess, Rosie played with their algae. Roses are red, violets are blue, 
This brown algae is sticky like glue. Dinah was unhappy. The algae was not now brown. It should have been green. Now we have to start over. So Rosie's brother is not very happy right now with Rosie. After school, Angel asked Rosie how she liked working with Dina. The project would be much more fun if she didn't worry so much, said Rosie. She always tells me to be more careful. Oh dear, said Angel. See Angel? That's the fish from our other story at school, the rainbow fish. It does not sound like their project is going well at all. Angel swam over to Rusty and said, I heard that Dinah is being bossy and Rosie is acting like a clown. Rusty swam over to Spike and said, Rosie and Dinah aren't getting along. Rosie is a good partner. I always have fun working with her. It's fun until Mrs. Cuddle asks to see your work. You get in trouble if it's not done. Rusty liked working with Dinah. I would work with Dinah anytime. She's so careful. You mean boring, said Spike. Dinah wants to do all the work herself. Dinah and Rosie had heard every word. Their feelings were hurt. I thought you were my friend. How could you say that I'm bossy? I didn't say you were bossy, honest. I thought working with you would be fun, said Rosie. But if you think I'm a clown, I don't want to work with you at all. This is not what I said, Dinah replied. Ask Rainbow Fish. He was there. Rainbow Fish hated to see his friends upset. He thought he knew how this problem st started. The story got mixed up as it was repeated, he said. You two could still be partners, said Rainbow Fish. Rosie, you always have fun ideas. You can make anything work. I bet if you tried again, you could have the best science project. So now they're going to try to work together. Let's see if that works. So Rosie and Dinah made up and tried to work together. Rosie told Dinah all about her ideas. Dinah told Rosie what LJ needs to grow. Together, they figured out how to complete their science project. This time, the LJ did grow. It grew into a beautiful castle. Their project was a success. Thumbs up if you like that book. Two thumbs up if you super liked it. I'm going to give it a one thumbs up. If you want to give it a two, that's A-OK -okay if you super liked it. Friends, sometimes in a family, people might fight. But the important part is that we say, I'm sorry. We talk it out and we become friends again. Because there's, you know what? I'm going to draw hearts in my family picture because a family... There's always a lot of love coming from a family. So I'm going to add little hearts because there's lots of love that comes from a family. And some mommies, I know Leo's mommy has a baby in their tummy. If your mommy has a baby in their tummy and you want to tell us, let us know. Okay, friends, I will see you tomorrow at Zoom.